Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and our mosquito collection is growing, not as quickly as it was before, which is a good thing. If you want to see how I caught all these mosquitoes, it's in a link below. This video, I'm going to be talking to you about how to take care of the mosquito larvae. Mosquitoes are very similar to people. They like to eat when they bite you and they also like to reproduce. Mosquitoes like to lay their larvae in preferably water that is stagnant and in a dark area. They do not like to lay their larvae in clean water that's sitting out in the sun. There's a few reasons for that. Stagnant water usually has decomposing leaf material in the bottom. As the leaves decompose, they release some carbon dioxide and they're actually attracted to that. Same reason that they bite you. It's a general rule of thumb not to leave containers of water in your yard because you just create a breeding ground for the mosquitoes. And I agree with that. There is a small problem with that. When you remove all the areas for them to breed, they'll just find another place, a ditch, maybe your neighbor's swimming pool that he doesn't take care of. Also, if it has been raining a lot and your yard is very wet or you have moist grass, dumping the mosquito larvae on the ground there, emptying your containers out, will just give them another place to breed. So if you do dump them out, dump them out in an area that's in the sun, preferably like dry sand. I set a series of containers around our yard with rotting leaf material in the bottom. The leaves release the carbon dioxide and the mosquitoes are attracted to that. They deposit their larvae there. They work really well. Every day I go around and scoop the larvae out. Now if you're not a responsible person or if you're someone that forgets a lot, don't do this because you'll just create a mosquito farm and your neighbors will hate you for it. Now if you set these containers out, make sure that they're not where little kids can fall in them and drown or pets actually like to drink that water. They're attracted to it for some reason probably not real good for them. It's a good idea to make sure that nothing can get to them. So set them up a little bit higher. You don't want to set them out in the sunlight because mosquitoes will avoid that. So set them in a shaded area. If you know that mosquitoes nest by a ditch or something, you can place them over in that area. Now our collection jars get probably 5,000 mosquito larvae a day and I clean them all the way out to where there's no larvae. There's a couple ways that you can kill the larvae. The best option is to lay something absorbent on a table Pour the water on there so it soaks through the towel and the larvae will set on top of the towel, dry out in the sun. You can pour them in dry sand. Again, don't pour them in wet, dark soil because they'll just breed there. Mosquito larvae scare pretty easily and they need to have air, so you kind of have to move slow when you collect them. But they will come up to the surface for air. One of my containers had so many larvae in it that they completely covered the top of it and Almost all of them died because they couldn't get the air. There was a layer of larvae about that thick on the bottom. Inside of that container is approximately uh, many, many thousands of mosquito larvae. I put all of the collection pond in there. They need air to survive. And if you fill it up and cover it with plastic, they'll die. They actually will, if you put a whole ton of them in there they'll actually kill each other because they won't they'll block the surface and others will die and they sink to the bottom now if you do that you want to make sure that you have a very strong stomach because the smell inside of that jar is about the most disgusting thing I have ever smelled my entire life another option is to cover the surface of the water and they will eventually suffocate that option does create the very stinky water but it's great fertilizer for your plants our collection containers are loaded with tadpoles, snails, and all kinds of aquatic life. It's a very healthy, robust environment. The tadpoles will occasionally feed on some of the larvae, but since our collection ponds have such a high nutrient content, they feed on other things. One of the more maintenance-free options is to simply take one of the collection jars and set it behind one of the large fans. The collection jar releases a little bit of CO2. This attracts mosquitoes. They come in to put their larvae in the water. Any mosquitoes that come out of there will actually get stuck to the fan. It works very well and it attracts a lot of mosquitoes. This is another option for taking care of mosquitoes. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. But they will come up to the surface and they put their little snorkel thing up, I don't know. Larvae in there, more than likely that mosquito that grows and... <laughs> Hello there! Beep.
mosquitoes are very similar to most creatures. They like to eat and they like to mate. Mos beep. Mosquitoes are very similar. Mos mosquitoes are just like you'll just create a mosquito farm and your neighbors will hate you for it. Also, you don't want to leave your collection containers where little kids might fall on them. Oh, fuck it. Mm. Got him. Also, So if you have a pond like this that collects mosquito larvae, they'll tend to congregate in one area. You can go in and scoop them out. An interesting thing about mosquito larvae is if you set it out in the sun with them in it, they will die. They do not like sunlight. I put this jar out here. This, these two are loaded and you can see the larvae stuck to the side there. This is a big drinking bottle. All along the side there is dead mosquito larvae. The sunlight bakes them. They just don't like sunlight at all. I know this doesn't seem too environmentally appealing, but I have a guy who actually goes around and collects old PVC pipe. He just picks it up from people who don't want it anymore. And I actually use it for projects instead of buying new PVC. These light bulbs I found on the side of the road. They've been here for probably two years floating in this water. Snails actually like them and uh, all kinds of stuff lay their eggs on them. This was, I've been trying to filter this out because I need to use this pond for something. Here's a nice ecosystem over here. We have, these came from the back from our swamp and our giant pond that we have down there. So these are the bad guys that we want to do away with. So they all like to huddle to the surface. That one that I showed you that has a solid black everywhere, there was so many of them in there, there was a layer about this thick down there once they all started to die and they were all on top. You can see that they spook pretty easily. So if I were to take these guys and dump them in a ditch, they would say thank you very much because they would just turn into mosquitoes in the ditch. 